and welcome back to Danganronpa. Last time, the episode was a bit long. There wasn't really a good stopping point, so yeah. I have actually been, yeah. This, this is, this is, this is probably gonna go up late, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Everything's gonna be a day pushed back until, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Man, I'm pushed. I got no motivation at all. Monofani's uh, period is late too. Wait. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, this is a hell of a way to start this. Um, Father, why do you know Monofani's cycle? And Never mind that. Perhaps this lack of motivation is due to lack of hibernation. Lack yeah. of hibernation? But didn't you just have, like, a good old rest, like, a chapter ago? Yeah, I haven't really been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. That's awful. What could be causing it? Ah. It's because you have a lot on your mind, right? Mm. Is it because of the graveyard? Uh, because of the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage. Mm. Really? Is it because you don't want them to think about uh, that you're just goofing around? Mm. Is, is it because you want to stay friends? Mm. Mm. Is it because you want to watch it in real time? Watch what in real time. Hmm? Father? Hmm. He's gone into hibernation. Uh, we should let him be. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're right. Night night. Is he gonna be asleep for the rest of the trial? <laughs> That'd be fun. My theory really has not changed, so yeah. I'm forgetting someone important to me, but uh, I just can't. My head, my head hurts so much. I just can't remember. Have you forgotten? Maybe that's for the best. Right now, From this point forward, let's start a new life for ourselves. After all, our baby is excited to meet his daddy. You know, daddy. Wait, what? I'm oh, gonna be a father? <laughs> this joke is still... <laughs> They're still doing the joke, even after the little thing before. Oh my. What a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. Oh my god. Why isn't Samugi the one, like, pointing at the death flags? It seems like she'd be the one, given her, uh, ultimate talent. More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. Right, where are we again? We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. Mew manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. Yeah, that sounds about right. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. Uh -huh. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. Eh? Yeah. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. That doesn't make sense. I mean, it's not the worst plan, but I am pretty convinced that if we really... If we really worried about it, then, um... If we really had to go through the situation, oh she oh. She dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Then secretly passed through the wall she installed and took advantage of the loop. After she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. 
Oh, yeah. Kaito was probably logged out around that time, too. That's when I saw Mew. That seems like a pretty fair assumption. Hmm... I suppose there still is the possibility that she was killed somewhere else and it was just made to seem like she should have been killed on the roof. Maybe to take away the potential implication of someone else. Uh, at the chapel area, being the killer. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when culprit kill her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Maybe. Did the culprit lock or the door? Or maybe the she roof? decides she wants to keep Kokichi out because maybe she changed her target because someone Perhaps. else came up first. I don't think Mew did. She it. still could have locked it, but it would have been after the. Mew did lock it. She would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Ah, uh, the killer came up. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her Man, plan. She might. I don't think it's out of reason for her she to change it. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. I don't think it's all that likely, but I don't think it's unreasonable to think that she might. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. I mean, no say such mean things. Not wrong. Killing game bad, not Mew. But that doesn't mean she can't be dumb. Mew, not bad person. Going to think we could have been friends if things different. Yeah. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. She, yeah, she's definitely the type that seems to push away people who'd actually potentially be friends with her, so, yeah. That wouldn't happen. Nuh-uh. No way, Jose! Oh, yeah, Kokichi, you, you'd never be, be friends with her because you gotta get shipped with her. You'll be lovey-dovey as you put your heel to her cheek and she just goes, <laughs> Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. I wonder. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? If there might have... Yeah, that's the only way, right? Been a point where there is no killer. But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? And she killed herself on accident. I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Maybe. Maybe she, like... Because when I think about Those it... not throw her! One, that toilet paper had to come from somewhere. Th that's one it thing, that's one notable thing. Avatar's physical strength was equalized. Uh, two. Physical strength equalized? Wooden panel sort of thing. I forgot what it's called. That problem. Going to know can protect everyone if that happens. We saw that up on the rooftop Jeez, storage room. So that had to come from up there. We're already in the second half of the class trial. I I'm thinking probably what happened is that it was slid like a sled across the snow. Um, because that don't, doesn't break, it didn't leave any skid marks, and then she fell to the other side. Presumably you'd think someone killed her, then, like, put her on that, then, uh, had that fall, um, ha have that basically slide off to the other side to, in order to hide their involvement on the roof. You'd think, if there was a killer, that's probably how it went. But at the same time, I could also imagine maybe Miyu throwing that together as a way to get back over quickly. Potentially to miss someone else coming up in order to hide her plan so she wasn't suspected of trying to kill someone and then accidentally killing herself when she fell. Hmm. That's an idea. How did they send Possibility. Mew's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. Yeah. Bang. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the thing sliding, and basically that was a crash. 
Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think hmm, that sound and you her know what? Being I by the chapel actually wouldn't be surprised. Now that I think about it more, if she accidentally killed herself, and it was a simple matter of Kokichi is aware of it, his things about only Shuichi can solve this case makes a bit more sense, because we don't actually have. In that case, we wouldn't actually have a um, a culprit to basically fess up to it. So we'd have to logically deduce that that happened. Because at this point, there's no way she committed suicide or something like that. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that noise is related to this case. We need to figure out uh, what that sound could have been. Might be the clue we need to solve this case. So, what was it? Sounded like something slightly hard and something else. So, what were those two things? It could be... Sounds we heard like two objects colliding. The lattice hitting the wall. <laughs> you hitting the wall. <laughs> Going to throw her. And she hit the wall of the chapel. The lattice hitting the wall sounds uh, makes the most sense. I think the lattice would make oh, such no. a loud noise. Maybe? I don't think the impact would be loud enough to startle everyone going uh into going outside. Maybe? Uh Miu. Miu is the only other possibility. That's she it. is big enough. Okay. Well, I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there, but they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding the with the wall. The wasn't that the lattice just hit the wall, and maybe that's really what I was getting at, that the lattice is the thing that hit the wall uh, when I said that, and it wasn't actually implying what I thought it was implying, which was that the lattice was used to get Mew to the wall. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. He felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Oh, he knows fucking everything. Why are you talking like you know everything? There's no way he doesn't know at this point. Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? All the best of friends. Can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. You know, maybe the door wasn't locked and he went up there and he used his car key in some form to coerce her into killing herself. Hmm. You know, maybe if the motivation was like motivation to die or something like that, maybe that's why Kokichi's keeping it under wraps. Like all the stuff about the the dead and whatnot in the previous chapter coming back to life. And how maybe people really aren't dead. Uh, the sort of maybe promise of the people dying get a better future or like get off better or like go to somewhere better. Like sort of like the promise of a heaven, but like more realistic, uh, at least in terms of... Um, not mythological. That's probably about. It's something very abstract and something that is a very not based in the real world, and it's not supposed to be, from my understanding. So uh, you get what I mean at this point. I just want to clarify on that. Getting Mia's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. So like one way I can think of how to do it. Hey, Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. You what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Oh, was it now? Okay. Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. Mm-hmm. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. If the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. 
Yeah, let's spell it out more. Let's spell it out so much. Kokichi's talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. Yeah. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve this case. How to make uh, how to make me hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion? I'm going to find the answer. In. Okay. Oh, I don't have much left, do I? Oh, I'm so gonna get the first letter wrong. Ah, there we go. It slid something roof, I think. I'm not sure. Hidden Monokuma. Holy shit, you can do that in this? Uh, neat. Off roof, off roof, off roof. Okay, I get it. I was trying to think of a word with three letters that even made sense. I just need to get that O, and then I would have realized it. The culprit used the sloped roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. Yeah, with the lattice, I presume. A slide? Nah, man. Even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. Fair points. Something I didn't consider. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. That's why I use the lattice, right? It wouldn't slide. Just like Maki Roll said. Wait, wait. It would slide. Just like Shumai said. Shumai. Shumai. Oh, Shumai. Am I Shumai? Oh, he's a pupil of Roman Man. I mean Shuichi. Uh, sorry, my hobby I, slipped in. Is it? I, I don't get it. I don't get that reference. You've been so useful in this game, uh, Samugi. You've been so useful in the trials. <laughs> uh, I'm positive that's how Mio's avatar uh, moved, but maybe the cover used something uh, else to help her uh, body slide. The lattice. I mean, this is easy. It's a simple, Even simple. If her avatar slid off the roof, I don't remember when I thought of it, but this is not something that's been, uh, I've been debating for a while. If it made that much noise, it must have built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on roof, but not frozen solid, right? You'd still slide, though. In the real world, it might be difficult, but in the virtual world, perhaps not. That's not the issue. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing like that around, though. No, there was. There was. We know. Ah, okay. No, no, we know. We know. There was nothing like that. There we go. That's wrong. No, wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit laid her on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. Unless we've got just like an influx of a bunch of lattices in that virtual world, sure. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. Oh my. After the culprit killed me Oh the roof, my, they actually animated. Placed her corpse on a sled and slid her down the roof steep slope. The sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, glided through the wall only objects could pass hmm. through and hit the chapel. One I want to I'm wondering why there's that green dot in the corner. That's a bit weird. Maybe that's a glitch. Uh, two. That does mean that the point we heard the sound was probably would require would probably require whoever killed her to be 
on, like, on that side. Unless they went down too. Maybe they wouldn't have built up enough speed and they wouldn't be able to... They'd have to be seen as an object to get back in time, at least, though. The more I think about it, the less Kipo seems likely, but I can't imagine anyone else doing it. Which makes me feel as though she accidentally killed herself. Seems more likely. Because that seems like a potential uh, escape plan, too. Take the lattice, sl uh, slide it down, get off to back to the chapel side, and no one be any the wiser. That wouldn't explain where the uh, strangulation thing comes from. It seem like that. Like she was being strangled in the virtual world and thought she was being strangled in the real world and died from shock and whatnot. The impact made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. I... I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I hate... Oh, you're on point today. Getting your enthusiasm a bit back Daddy, now? No? I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. You gotta be an example to our new family. Oh my. Oh my yeah, fucking father. goodness, man. Or should I start calling Actually, is Monokuma just gonna now? fucking kill Monofani at the end of this? So that because of this whole development, and we'll never know if it was really true, but as we cut now because we of this subconscious of development. One step I don't away even from know. the culprit. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? I don't know how seriously I should take that. Or maybe Monotaro will die and the uh, the kid will grow up a bastard or some shit. I don't <laughs> fucking know. Yeah. Man. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? I have two possibilities well, in my head. I can't believe one of us killed. Uh, one of them seems somewhat impossible at the moment. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. He keeps saying that. It makes me feel as though, Meaning yeah. The culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. You would suggest that, Kibo. Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. Must, must, must. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right, five suspects. Me, Smooky, Gonta, Kokuchi, and Kaido. We don't know enough to name a culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. When we're talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. What reason would he have would they have to lie? Wait, who lied? I'll need to press them for information before making any judgments. Don't lie. Wait, someone said did someone say they never went to the rooftop before? I think Kokichi said he never went to the rooftop proper. Uh, I don't think... I think he did, but... Huh. So it's not who's the culprit, who's the liar. I... don't... really... remember. I don't think he's said anything coherent enough to be considered a lie. I don't remember her talking about the roof at all. Hard for me to uh, suspect Maki or Kaido at this point, seriously. It's possible. He does seem pretty nervous and particularly hateful of uh, Kokichi lately. Uh, Maki... I don't remember making any comments about that. Kaido could be. I don't remember Kibo making any comments about the roof. In particular. I mean, Kokichi seems like the... Uh, I mean, I don't remember you making any... Oh, time up! Uh Damn it! I was just talking them through, man! I was just talking them through! I didn't realize I had a time limit! I didn't even see it! It's a, it's a minute, okay. I guess I'll go down my list of potential suspects. Try them. Okay, 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 okay. So it's probably him, right? It's you! Okay. He's a liar, but... Okay, There's something I need to know. Hmm. What do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. 
Oh, right, that makes sense, because he was talking about the slope of the roof and whatnot. He wouldn't know it unless... Especially if he didn't know about, like... He wouldn't know the details he mentioned, like, uh, the brick fence and whatnot, even if he could surmise the slope stuff going on. Man, this is not my best day. I'm not putting things together I need to put together. Oh, no. It was that testimony that bothered me. Oh, no. Let's see, what have we got? I have to do this for a testimony. Okay. So which one's the lie, basically? I see it. Okay. I mean, never going to the roof seems like the obvious when one, you right? Were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said not really any other lie he could have done. Never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. Okay. But later, you said. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing he really could have lied about, which is a fair point. a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Why? He's so blatantly playing us, too. Huh? huh? Wh wh what? He doesn't act like this normally, even when he's under What's pressure. What's all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? I, 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 I just didn't. I already t told you that b before. There's no way he's Why fucking with us. So nervous. Because he's acting. <laughs> Is this a sincere reaction? It's never a sincere reaction. Let's be real. But, but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. But wait, I remember now. That thing Himiko said. Do you just want to play the Blackens? At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Be the Blackens. And you're like, oh, I want to do that now, too. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl. Gotta be more careful there, Himiko. Is it my fault? Himiko really say that? Uh, I don't remember that, but okay. She totally said that. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. She did not. She did too. I don't remember her saying that. I can go back and then look at the footage. Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. Hey, Kukichi, did you know I'm recording this? <laughs> <laughs> what a worthless fight. I think he's lying. Father, stop them before your grandkid is born. Are we gonna have a debate scrum over whether she said it or not? I'm not gonna apologize, cause Himiko said it. <sighs> so damn stubborn. How much longer are you going to behave like this? Ah, oh, we really don't have time for this. Back, Okichi is stubborn. He won't fess up no matter what. But if he makes, uh, if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I want to prove he's on the roof. I might like, uh, might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. If, uh, if we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. man I'm not lying the rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it so what did Kokichi do I turned back at once of course and stayed in the salon the whole time you know wires burn in hell you know if you're lying I'll set your pants on fire that's fine because I'm not lying 
Then why do you look so nervous? Yukichi is lying for sure, but if he keeps throwing lies at me, I prefer fire or fire. Oh, I should lie. Didn't go to the roof. You stayed in the salon the whole time, you know. Oh, okay. I'll reveal the truth. Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? And I'm gonna lie to expose his a uh, lie. <laughs> lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. But you weren't there. What? Really? I waited there for a while. You never showed up. What's this all about, Kokichi? Didn't you go right back to the salon uh, and I, I, I'm the gonna note, I'm gonna note that Sabuki could really easily point out that I didn't leave because she was in between us. You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? See, the tricky part about lying is that if you're specifically lying and other people so who are you guys gonna believe? know that you're Shuichi lying, or me? even if they can't prove it, especially in someone like Yukichi's well, case, of course I'm gonna believe Shuichi. He's not gonna change what he believes simply because I lied. I believe Shuichi 100%. It really has been a case Kikuchi. of lying about something people couldn't really dispute, at the very least, so... Oh, no. Hmm. Here we go, point to Shuichi. Oh, thank you very much. I'll take those with pride. If you go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Um. Yeah, I thought I about that. I didn't notice Shuichi come there. Come on, Smoogie, catch on! Come on, come on, come on. Oh well, I'll believe Shuichi anyway. This is how we're gonna get around it. She's gonna be like, oh well, Sorry, I'm surprised. Going to believe hmm. Shuichi too. Hmm. I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. Oh. <laughs> what comes around goes around. That's what happens to liars like you. Why do you guys hate lies that much? There's only one truth, but endless possibilities for lies. You know? And some of them are only white lies. Or lies to be kind to people. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie... Then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to! Seriously, the worst! Eh, probably, yeah. Just spit it out already! You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably did. Okay, fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? Ooh. You got some balls lying to me. I'm going to take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. Ah, uh, how are you going to do that? I won't <laughs> let you do any detective work or deduction or mystery solving or anything. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm oh? so sad that I don't have to figure everything out. So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? So you are the culprit after all. This is confessing. <laughs> I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. She asked me pretty eagerly, too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. On me, no less. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. I know that happened. That's what also did you why actually do? I worked together with Monokuma. You said that you're going to use the motivation, right? You worked together with Monokuma? <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. Kokichi came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. It was such a good idea, 
I decided to play some motive in the killing game simulator. Uh, what you now? The motive? Then the secret of the outside world is the motive, right? No fair. Monokuma can't take sides. I I is that what the key card I did? Didn't help him with anything. Huh. And I had nothing to do with the murder itself. He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted. Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. Ethics, though. Ethics. Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. Shh, calm down. I'll explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. I'm fine with that, but you're confessing without much of a fight. He's not going to be the killer. We all know this already, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm going to get in the way by taking away the mystery solving fun. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. Well then, the culprit is Gonta. Huh? What? Is it really? Huh? You might want to confess more than that. What did you... Wait! When did Gonta kill Mew? That's a lie! He didn't kill her! Kokichi's just lying! Why, you... Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta? I'm not going to say it's impossible. Do you really expect us to believe such an obvious lie? Yeah, there's no way Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not smart. It's my turn now. I would like Okichi to explain how it could be possible, though. The only thought I can co that comes to mind is something that can control him. But would that make him the culprit? The truth is, Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. <laughs> that fucking image. As the killing game busters! What busters? <laughs> That's great. We must win this killing game in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with a murder plan and going to carry it out. Going to what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? Interesting tactic here, Kogichi. Cause going to have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. Come on, quit lying and tell us the truth. I ain't trying to lie again. Gonta is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. Did you set us up with some truths at the and beginning no in order to make this seem more be, plausible? I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. Yeah, not after insect meet and greet incident. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Gota doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to I trick mean, him. he has been playing awfully dumb this he's entire to time. He's trying to to escape from his crime! I mean, it's not like he's shown signs of being... <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. If he's legitimately trying to sacrifice someone, I, I believe he'd make up a more glory, convincing so lie than that at the very the least. Truth. Cut that out. I told you it's not gonna work. Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? It doesn't matter if it's possible or not, because I say it's just impossible. It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. All we need is logical thinking. Right, Shuichi? Logical thinking or not, you're gonna have to what? do more than say, hey, this is the case, to connect um, to one of uh, the pieces of evidence we have what's to going on, your supposed but conclusion. Going to not kill Mew. Going to really not know anything. And also, Going to not tell lies. And going to not make trouble for others. Cause that not how gentlemen mm. act. That why going to mm. not culprit. You know, I will note that Gonta has been acting significantly differently this class trial. He has had a lot more instances of saying, 
Kokichi, you do something suspicious, we should be suspicious of Kokichi, right? Yeah. He's done that a bit. And he's played... I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility that he really doesn't understand the virtual world. But it... It seem... It seems so overplayed at this point that it could legitimately be an act to some extent. Yeah, you're going way out of your way... The thing is that Gonta might actually act like this, but at the same time, I could see this playing on your expectations of him. Because he would act like this sometimes. Maybe not to this extent, but it's not too far that it's believable. But it still gets the job done of what needs to be done if he is the culprit, so... Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I could tell just by looking at him. I already used my magic to check. Gonta's definitely not lying. Then let me ask you guys. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You, of course! Kaido, calm the goddamn fuck down. <laughs> Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew. There's already proof? This is probably the most you've even spoken up during a class trial, but you're not oh, helping very you much. already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't be the culprit! God. Damn, man. Your goddamn face! What did you do to be able to do that? I sort of want to be able to do that. Oh my goodness. I am not the culprit. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? The clue is how Mew is killed. Mew got strangled to death, right? Uh -huh. Toilet paper was the murder weapon! Presumably. He would have totally resisted if she was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me! Oh, you talking come about the on. strength of your virtual avatar? That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strangling her, no problem. Mm. See, I told you I'm not the right. She How can't. You he can't. Conclusion? <laughs> he's not even listening. He's he's just assuming. Uh, okay. Well, we can say one way or the other. We have to clear something up. The setting that he can't touch her, right? Exactly. She couldn't struggle much, so you could have kept strangling her. No. Nope. Yeah. No. Kaido, you are That's wrong. Me. I'm sorry, but. There's no way. Actually, maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle mm. Mew. Why wasn't it possible? Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? That image. So I would have had to kill her instantly, such as stabbing or hitting. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation, because it'd be game over if she touched me. What? Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck... Then it would be impossible. I'd say it's not impossible, impossible, Which but like ninety-nine percent. As long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Impossible. Wait, what if it was something besides strangulation then? Like, there's no doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. Hard to deny that. No matter how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. The culprit who killed Mew is Gonta Gokuhara! This is the truth you all adore so much. That is a that will be really interesting no, if he's telling the truth. Not I, I'm not 100 percent sure. But it's oh my true. goodness. You gotta believe Gonta! Gonta would never hurt anyone! I believe you. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonto would kill. He won't even kill bugs. I... 
believe Gonta too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lies. Uh, of course. Who'd believe a liar like the him? The more people are saying, oh, he's lying. He's definitely lying. He's, he's definitely lying. lying. He's just Gonta making me think. Culprit, so there's no point talking about it. It's probably him, isn't it? Huh. I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? Huh? <laughs> I'm not your yes man, man. Not your yes man. I know how important it is to believe, but as the ultimate detective, I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? Ah. <sighs> We need a debate, Scrum. <laughs> it's just that something doesn't add up. I have this feeling something's off. We can't keep going back and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you want to suspect Gonta? Wouldn't you be happier if we can clear his bad, name? Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. No, I don't agree with you. No, I'm not trying to... I believe we need to discuss it. Oh, the irony! It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survi- Shuichi? Going to really not do it. Going to not culprit. Please believe going to. Ah, oh, don't give me that face, man. Don't give me that face. We might as well discuss it. Uh, what? It's not about as a belief. Precautionary measure, it's never been all. about belief. I think we need to seriously discuss whether going to was capable of committing this crime. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. You guys, why don't you get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. He's just trying to split us up. Shuichi, open your eyes. And if we keep following this, then what's the worst that could happen? We clear his name? If you're really so against it, then stay against it and never vote for it. We can clear his name at the very least. And if he's the culprit, he's the culprit. And we found him. Okay? B but Two for one truth special! Sorry to ruin this tense moment, but you guys seem pretty evenly split right now. There we go. So, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! So we're gonna do that again? Shuichi, why? Why don't you understand? You're not being reasonable. You, you're my sidekick, aren't you? Kaito. It doesn't mean I'm just gonna agree with everything you got damn out of Oh my goodness. Of course I'm gonna believe Gonta. I just don't want to think he killed someone. But as the ultimate detective, I can't turn away from the truth. Goodness, I need to find the goddamn truth. Come on, Kaito. You need to understand. Why can't you understand me? Why do I always have to understand you? I don't. Come on. I will say, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, new parts of the trials for this one. Lie bullets are pretty great. Uh, mass panic debates are pretty great. Yeah. These are all pretty great. I hope they never get rid of these, at the very least, in uh, any future games. Oh, you know there's going to be future games. <laughs> oh, three against... Five? Shuichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. God, there's a lot of them. Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. This actually might be difficult. But Kokichi so confessed many of them. he was working with Monokuma. It's all a lie. Kokichi is the one who killed Mew. Going to not kill Mew. Honest. Sure there, buddy. We'll see. 
Blind trust is going to get us further from the truth. Yeah, I want to solve this. I have to. Because I want to survive with everyone. Shuichi, are you saying that Gota is the culprit? I've got this. I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Kokichi, don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? Kibo! The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. I've got this! No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma! Kokichi! I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie! Kokichi is the one who killed Mew! Kibo! That isn't possible, because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Gonta not kill Mew! Honest! I've got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. Oh no! Okay. And change. And change. And there we go. Okay. If it's not Gunta, and it wasn't Mew herself, which seems possible, uh, still seems possible. It definitely feels like something Kyokichi might uh, might set us out in Gunta. In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gunta is the culprit. We have to discuss it. There really wasn't much of an argument in that one. That's ridiculous! You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? Which is interesting, he was basically just saying... That's not it at all. I just want the truth. Dude, it's possible. If we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. <laughs> it's like, that's really all we had to say. That's all we were saying. That's the only argument made by either side. <laughs> really, when I came down to it. telling truth. That was, uh... Was really not culprit. Those are still interesting. I... I still don't think Gonta's lying. If Gonta didn't do it, I still say my money's still probably more on Mew accidentally killing herself, or purposely killing herself because of some motivation uh, Kokichi gave to her. And if not those two, my next choice would still be Kibo. Specifically because he was on the side saying Gonta could have done it. And the person who actually did it, if there is anyone who actually did it, would probably be on the side if they weren't Gonta himself to accuse him and say, it's possible, we have to discuss it. But didn't I tell you guys already? Because that is advantageous for them. If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this! Gonta, if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. L logical arguments? It means use your head to make arguments. Use head? What I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't. But... Going to really not know. Uh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know. God, why are you so dumb? Going to just want to help everyone, like true gentlemen. You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop. Hey, now that's just bullying. Bullying? Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game. Right? You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I, I never ganged up. Gonta, argue back already! Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop it! That's enough! Hmm? Stop what? You mean stop the game? Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Oh, that's a low blow right there. Then just die in a hole for all I care! We want to live, so stop getting in our way! Quit it. 
If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. I have to agree with Gokichi here. I'm sorry, Magi. Magi I mean, please calm down. I wouldn't mind if you shut it for him permanently. You know what? Sorry. It Gonta's fault. Everyone's so upset. I agree with both of you. Maki Kokichi, I agree with both of you. Let's Gonta go with that. Telling truth. Gonta really not culprit. Cuz Gonta not know anything. Really? Cut it out already. That's all you've been saying this whole time. You're the one that needs to cut it out. Wait, what did Kukichi say? All oh, you've been saying this whole time. That is true about Gyonta. This whole time, Gyonta's been saying he doesn't know anything. It's hard to believe the possibility that he might be acting because he, he's shown no sign of being capable of it before. But this is exactly how someone who has acted like him or at least built up the reputation he would, would use. They don't need to do arguments, they just do this emotional appeal, and it's not helpful for figuring out what really happened. Uh, already happened. Oh, um, well, I mean, Gonta's not smart, but at the same time, he's not that dumb, right? He's not so dumb that... When exactly did he start using that defense? Gonta started saying, I don't know when. Uh, That's it! I mean, if you're counting the stuff that. Uh, the other stuff that was in it, then after logging out of the virtual world, even if you think he's I don't know specifically. Did Gonta get into an accident in the virtual world? Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta. That was. Uh. Uh, uh, the Avatar error. I was wondering a little bit earlier why that hasn't come up. This is it. When we logged into the virtual world, an Avatar user error occurred. That is true. I have been forgetting about that. So did he accidentally do it? If this is going to turn into going to accidentally killing someone... Oh, that's going to be sad. Error unknown, I can't find any details. Something strange definitely happened with someone's avatar when he all logged in. Okay. An avatar user error? Ever since going to logged out, he's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? That's what I thought at first, but I think it's because of the error. W what you mean? If that error is affecting, uh, is what affect, uh, yeah, if that error is what's affecting Gonta, it's making him forgetful and loopy, then what was the error? What could have it been? Hmm. That's a fair point. You know, it was actually pretty reasonable for him not to understand it, but the more, the more he goes on about it, the more it's... You can see how much of an emphasis they've put on him not knowing anything. <laughs> I remember Gonta acting relatively normally. Memory something. Memory... Maybe he got rid of his memory after he left? Hmm. This is better than the second game's Hangman game, but there's it's still like the worst mini game. It really is still like the worst. Okay, where were those L's? I don't even remember there being an L before. Memory loss. Is it just simply loss? Oh my goodness. I hate myself right now. Of course. I <laughs> Man, I'm not even good at remembering like words in real life when I need to remember words. It's an S, right? Why do I gotta remember words when it matters? To remember a specific word. I believe it's possible yeah, that yeah, Gonta Of course it's memory loss. I thought it was gonna be something world. more specific. Oh, whatever. Huh? What was the dream you had, Gonta? He doesn't remember. 
You started saying, I don't know anything, after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. Oh, that's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even killing Mew. I feel um, we have to get enough votes on our side if it is Gionta. Kaido doesn't seem willing to reliance. So doubtful Himiko or Sumugi would be willing to either. So that puts three that are probably out of bounds. Kokichi and I, that makes two. We'd have to get have to get Gonta and Maki. I can imagine Gonta being convinced that he did it and voting for himself. I can imagine Maki coming to that side too. I suppose we have Kibo. I was forgetting about Kibo. So realistically, hmm. It could be four against four. What? That's ridiculous! Quit screwing around! Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous! What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused! Gonta told us he was bad with computers, remember? Memory or no memory, Gonta never hurt anyone! No way, Gonta's the culprit. Okay, mass panic time. Oh, okay. what do we got to do here? Gonta wants to keep everyone safe. You did it, but you don't remember. Never kill a friend. If there was a glitch, so it's gentlemen, assume. gentlemen, protect it friends! It should have affected all of us. Your lies aren't protecting anyone. But because we're but all Gunta okay, Gota not that. lying! That means there that's was a no Gota swear! Please believe Gota! No, oh, that's probably the... That's what I gave you for, there was no glitch one. I know it sounds crazy, but... It's no wonder it's hard to believe. Did Gota just hurt anyone, anyone differently? differently? But this Doesn't is the truth. You did it, but I'm sorry, Yonza. This doesn't mean you killed them, but it does. I heard it. It does make it really hard to believe. It makes it really hard to prove your innocence if you don't remember what happened. The cause of the error that affected Gonta's avatar is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world. So Kokichi and Gonta logged in at the same time. Mew's the only one after Gonta. Okay. I was thinking maybe someone stayed after and, you know, maybe pulled one of his cords? Hmm. I think that Gonta messed up something with the cords, causing the error. If he mixed the consciousness and memory cords, then there'd be an error with memory. Like, an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world? What? Gonta, do you think it's possible that you improperly... His helmet should still have them plugged in right, like they were, right? Could be your check. Huh? How Gonta supposed to remember that? He, he couldn't have messed it up. Oh my. I said it over and over. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. Oh, but Gonta hold chopsticks with this hand. Oh my goodness. Oh my That's why you do the L and the not L. Because L is always left. What? <laughs> Damn it. That's why the chopstick thing makes no sense as a way to remember it. Decided. <laughs> what? Decided. Mm, I'm so so sorry, wrong, Gonta. Isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? G Gonta not remember? Gonta not even go to this virtual world place? What? Gonta fall asleep when he put helmet on. When Gonta wake up, Mew dead. Gonta not know what happened. So... Going to worry. Going to not understand what everyone talking about. No, it can't be. But going to try his best to understand. Going to imagine real hard. 
That's enough, Gonta. We already know. N know what? How did he get him to go along with you? You said you could string him along, but how? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Wait a minute! That lie! Going to not kill Mew! Cause why would going to do that? Yeah, it's a lie! I'll never accept this! And besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew! I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you! Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? Because he, he wanted an interesting you trial, to probably. You yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? That's been such a thing that's yeah. gone so back and Only forth and what exactly commits the murder who's the black in that case, so then there's no Kay. incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Hold on, that hasn't been decided yet. Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already. I care about the motive. Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No, Kogichi. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Mm. Because if you don't face the truth, then we'll all die, right? And you don't want that, do you? Well, uh, me? Okay, let's begin! Quit screwing around! I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit! Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. <sighs> so, we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. I imagine the process of elimination, but... Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. Oh my... This has been a very interesting trial. This has been a very interesting, especially the second half. <sighs> At the chapel. The reason Kibo and Mikio and Maki being eliminated suspects is because... <sighs> they didn't have access to the crime scene. They couldn't get to the crime scene, could they? The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and only Mew could pass through the wall. The three at the chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so they couldn't have done it. Okay. Kaito is the next one off our suspect list. And you know why, right? Hmm. How did you manipulate him? Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Mew logged Kaito out from the start. But she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world... Awfully quickly, by the way. <laughs> it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Mew's time of death was around 6.30 in the morning. That's after Kaito logged out. Ugh. Kokichi's completely running the show now. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now, so let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. Because we have alibis for each other, right? But what's the reason for that? <sighs> We have solid alibis that we can vouch for for each other. 
Tsumugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Because of that, Shuichi and Tsumugi can't be the culprit. That is fair, too. I was going to say, during that other uh, the other time, we didn't see each other all the time, but it's a fair point. I didn't really think about the fact that that happened at the exact point of when the murder had to have happened. Or at least at the point when they slid it. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? <sighs> you couldn't have killed me. Yep. If Mew touched him, he'd freeze in place. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. So then, it's down to one person. And who was that again? <laughs> well, who is it? Don't answer, Shuichi! You don't need to answer that! This is all Kokichi's trap! And? It's not his trap. It's... There's only one suspect left, the only person that could have done this. Uh... Kayede. Showtime. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Showtime.